another like quick uh, video that I wanted to talk about like just before I forget is uh, this concept of like keeping form tight um, like your, your setup is kind of everything in, in deadlift in squat and bench and um, in those big main lifts and um, if you take time to kind of set up and set it up as, as tight as you can um, then like the lift goes well um, tight and then speed but you, the speed doesn't come until you like take very careful time to like perfect your setup um, it's kind of harder to do if you're a lifter that gets psyched up sometimes but it's like important like okay you get in the right mind but then you take that time to set up perfectly and um, and uh, uh, in regards to what, what being tight means is that like making little adjustments um, with your form so that it, it becomes tighter and like there's more tension and everything just wants to like come up or is ready to like kind of explode up uh, I think a good lifter who, who does this is uh, um, there, there are a number of them but like Stan Efferding is a good example like you kind of like um, I'd seen different videos of his like tight 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 and like building up tension and then on his bench and his squat and like when it's like ready to go it just like explodes up um, practical way of like doing this um, for example I could talk about myself like in sumo deadlift I'd seen this with Ed Cohn too oh yeah Ed Cohn's the other one who really does this is that um, just bringing everything in to get it get the form as tight as it can like right perfect form but like a tight setup before anything moves so that the bar is almost coming off the ground or um or ready to like it's or the other two movements like deadlift is coming off the ground but the other two movements it's like it's helping uh kind of build like the elastic tension tension so it'll be ready to explode up um, on deadlift, like sumo deadlift, it will be kind of uh, making sure my hands are close to my uh, legs. My, my legs are close apart. Um, my, and then uh, I'm like as down as I can get, like seated down, squatted down while uh, ma kind of being upright and stuff. And um, in all ways, like, like the tension is kind of building. The bar just wants to like pop off the floor, but you don't let it. And um, you, you set up in a way that like, the tension is just building and like everything is like ready to come up, explode up and stuff and that like people get confused because you think like speed is important and speed is really important but when you're setting up the setup is actually really slow so then um you set up very slow and then once the setup is like tight and everything's just like ready to like rip off the ground and stuff or ready to explode for the for the bench and the squat then then when it comes up that that, that part of the movement is really fast um, I forget what the fuck is like eccentric and uh, I, I forget the technical names but <laughs> like um, I think that's really important you just build the tension build 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 and um, explode and you do that with a tight setup and tight setup comes from um, doing things to have your form like not be loose and have it be really tight and then the form itself is just built by doing reps and doing more and more and more reps um, another thing that like Ed Cohn kind of talks about is that like how you um, like y you build your form over like a long time and like you can have like one training cycle where you slightly move your feet out and then another one where you slightly more move your feet out and then do that just like a tiny bit more or you slightly point them out and um, then like over weeks you do it just like ever so slightly more and how that like kind of builds your form so like when you're building tight form um, it's kind of based on that on making those little adjustments over time and um, I guess the other thing too is just like on the squat and bench when you're like dropping down like keeping the tightness keeping your entire body tight all your form tight your, your grip tight coming down 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 and they explode versus you just drop it down like completely you know um, because uh you kind of, there's there's like that concept of like uh, elastic potential energy where you're um kind of building it and then like kinetic energy like comes back i believe so uh, again i don't fucking know like the technical terms and stuff but um you kind of build it like a rubber band and build 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 and like the tension is the most when it comes to your chest at that point and then it's ready to explode up same squat it's building 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 10 tension 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 you get to the bottom the tension is at the most and it explodes up and you accelerate up with your speed 
Um, so that's a, kind of an important thing and uh, why tightness is so important in your, uh, in your form.